<laughs> uh, yeah, um, another update. Can't tell if this one's gonna be more optimistic or pessimistic than the last ones, I'm not sure. But okay, starting out, um, it's probably the reason why you clicked on this video. It's in the title, it's maybe in the thumbnail, I don't know what I'm doing for that. Owl House and Amphibia, yes, they're confirmed. I, I mean, I've already confirmed it. I've confirmed it on Discord. I've confirmed it in community posts before. In the previous update, yeah, they're happening, definitely. But just let me break down the math right now of like why it would be extremely bad for me to start those right now. So right now, I have like an 8180 video backlog. That's from DuckTales, Infinity Train, and Avatar. Now, this was a while ago since I wrote this, so I know the numbers have already changed. They've already increased. But if I were to start both Owl House and Amphibia, that would be an additional 59 episodes. Again, already changed. I know more stuff already came out. To combine those together, that's about a 140 video backlog. And you have to consider, like, when I'm actually able to edit things, I can only do one video a day. Anything more than that, then I'm basically dead. So we're already talking, like, if, if the factors were perfect, I were able to edit and I had, like, no other obligations, I was able to edit every single day. That's already, like, one third of an entire year. So, Again, I hope you guys see why it would not be a good idea for me to start that. Again, they're confirmed. They're gonna happen eventually. I don't know. I just gotta really, really try to get this backlog out of the way first. Or at least like mostly reduced. I know most of that is Avatar right there. Avatar is 60 episodes. I'm only like five episodes in. Editing wise, again, I, I know I've already reacted to the entire series. Okay, that's out of the way. Now the other part of the thing. Like This is the reason why I'm having such trouble editing stuff for the past like two years. So again, as usual, I've been huge lack of videos. That's nothing new, but I do have an explanation now and it's not the one that I was thinking. All this time, I, I thought it was my ADHD symptoms getting worse, like a complicated string of factors all aligned. So my symptoms just got worse over the past two years. Why I'm not able to do things that I want to do, I thought that was executive dysfunction. My head's all foggy, I'm tired after doing like one thing a day, all that stuff. This past week I had quite a few health appointments and I did meet with my neurologist. Within 15 seconds of me listing my symptoms, he was like, no, that's that's not ADHD worsening, that's, that's depresso. Fucking depresso. So all those symptoms, while they are linked to ADHD as well, this could be more attributed to just depression. So that's, that's fun. So yeah, suddenly everything starts to make a bit more sense. Cause like things already started to get worse as soon as I started college and then 2020 happened. That was not a good year. So yeah, again, that just, I mean, to me, that just makes a whole lot more sense. But don't worry, I do have treatment plans. I've already started therapy and I'm also starting medication soon. Hopefully that'll help, and I, I'm told the medication should help with like focus, exhaustion, like all, all that stuff, as well as the motivation. But yeah, there it is. Um, I guess that's why there's, there hasn't been videos, why I haven't been able to find the motivation to actually sit down and edit anything. And I hope to knock this out as quickly as I can, because obviously I want to edit, I want to get this backlog done, I want to continue this channel, no duh. It's not like I've lost joy in doing this, it's just my brain refuses to make me sit down in this chair and start editing something. My neurologist said this is also the point where like a lot more people have been coming in looking for treatment for depression. Which honestly, that yeah, I would I'd imagine so. Past year and a half and like two years has been like utter shit in like every regard. I'm pretty sure a pandemic would take a mental health toll on anyone. You have to consider, we were already at the worst numbers for mental health before the pandemic, at least in the US we were. This was like not a good time for this to happen. If you're like me who was paying attention to like the politics of everything that's happening, then that's instant rest in peace. That shit is messed up. If many of you are out there and you're feeling the same way that I do, uh, yeah, you're you're definitely not alone in that factor. And of course you're not, you, you, like if you think you're not operating at your peak, that's, yeah, that makes sense. We just went through some fucked up shit, so I don't blame you. And are still going through it, by the way. But yeah, if you are able to, I do recommend going out, getting treatment for all this stuff. Because trust me, there is help that you can get. Alright, well, I guess that wraps up this update. Again, I'm not sure if this is optimistic, pessimistic, fucking something. I don't know. But yeah. Depression. Fun. I guess we'll see what happens. Alright.
I hope you all enjoyed this update video. Again, not sure why you would. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. I have fucking depresso.